So the particular patient we're working on here today has a rotator cuff tear of his right shoulder. Because we're only doing one large injection, we only need to process one vial of blood. In that fashion, we're gonna take the drawn blood and we're gonna just invert it twice to mix our anticoagulant, our ACD, through the blood sample. Then we're gonna place it into our centrifuge. We're gonna take our balancing tube that we prepared earlier and we're gonna place it directly across from the blood tube. This will balance the product during the centrifugation process. We're now gonna process the blood for eight minutes at 3500 RPM. After processing is complete, remove your tubes from the centrifuge. You will see that all the red blood cells and granulocytes have been captured underneath the polyester gel separator layer and that all of the platelet-rich and platelet-poor plasma has been captured above the polyester gel separator layer. Red blood cells and granulocytes, platelet-rich and platelet-poor plasma. And just for fun, because this showed up in this sample, if you look on the top, that's cholesterol. This is being used in an orthopedic injection for a knee. So we're gonna to wanna to capture both the platelet rich and the platelet poor for injection into the upcoming patient. As a result of that, we're gonna use a 10 ml syringe instead of the included 5 ml syringe to make sure we get every bit of this prepared sample out. Okay, we're gonna start by putting a vent into the tube by taking one of our 32 gauge meso needles. and placing it into the top of the vial. This will allow the air collected in the top of the tube to escape, as well as the additional space that's gonna be created from the drawing of the blood. We're now gonna take our 18 gauge uh, spinal needle, which we're gonna to use to collect our blood plasma. We're going to attach it to our 10 ml syringe, nice and firm, remove our protective cover. We're now gonna insert this into the vial with the goal of aiming towards the lowest portion of the polyester gel layer to capture as much plasma as possible. Once we have a good position, we're gonna extract our platelet-rich plasma followed by our platelet-poor plasma extracting the entire plasma column. I think that's every last bit of it there, very good. You're then going to remove your collection needle, <clears throat> discard your used vial, now you have your plasma prepared and ready for injection. We're going to take a 21 gauge needle for the injection into the large joint. Attach the vial and we're ready to proceed with the procedure.